angels and all good tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners us now, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Amen. of God, pray, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Amen. Mother of God, pray, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that Amen. we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. All forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we would come to know the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In tuoi volatari Dei, ed in quiritificar, iu non putum am. Iu li tamen del sergeno tatum em de gente non sancta, amen. Amen, amen, non codo lo sorro. Quetus Deus, foti tu tuma, quare deflisis, quare crisis in cielo, non afflici me in lupus. Eme de lucem tu nubilitatum tu, mirsum de lux, erante de lux, erano ti mortem sanctum tu, omeni tabernacle la tua. Ed in tuoi volatari te, ed in quiritifica di un tutto meo. Covete vult in ti, ti in citra, Deus, Deus meus, quae tristis anima meo, al quale concobras me. Svene Deo, quale metro cupite vo ibi, salutare vultus me, ed Deus meus. Gloria, Patria, Figlio, e Spiritu, e Santo. Si potrà in principio o in un pet sempre, ed in secula seculorum amen. In suoi volatari dei, ed in quiritifica di un tutto meo. Auditor mio assumi domini domini, qui fece c'è in un'età. Confitio d'anni potenti, Beata Maria, tu Virgine, Beata Carità, Angelo, Beata Buona Bartita, Santo Svolto, il Prato del Paolo, Beata Buona Maria, 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 Beata Buona e io pure gloriata a Maria, mi sento dice, mi inviato un cane, ma cane, tu non gloriato, mi vado a partire, un santo sforzo, un spettro, un spavo, mi vado a mio amore, mi vado a inviare, non gloriato, santo, tu vas fratres, ora la copre, da un del nostro. Misuriamo tutti i potenti, e ci sono stati spiriti, tu te, tre vite, ma te, amo. Amen. Confidi, o te, o ami potenti, viate, ma io mi sento dice, viate, mi cade, a cangelo, viate, mi vado a partire, Sanctis Apostolis, Petro et Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis et Divipate, Quia Pecavinimis Procitatione, Vero et Opere. Meo culpa, meo culpa, meo maxima culpa. Ilio prego beata Mariam Sedivigenem, Beata Michaelum Archangelum, Beata Milano Baptistam, Sanctus Apostolis, Petro et Paolo, Omnes Sanctos et Te Pater, Orlare Pome. Ad omnum Deum nostrum. Miseriato Deus, mi potens Deus, et mis potatis vestis, per tutte vos et vita me tamam. Amen. Urgencem et sussionum et remissionum, peccator nostrum, et in governum, et sonni potente misericordiosus. Amen. Deus, et conversus fidelita abis nat, et plens turret abis orite, consenti nomis Domine misericordiam tuam, et salutare tuam benedis, Domine gaudilationem meam, et clamo meo sacrete, Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, Orde Deus. Statuit ai Dominus Testamentum Pacis, et Principem Feci Deum, Utsi Tiri Sacerdotsi, Dinitas in Eternum, Memento Domine Dave, et Dominus Mansuitud in Isegno. Gloria, Padre, et Filio, et Spiritu, et Santo, et si fedarat in principio, et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Sagit ai Dominus Estumentum Pacis, et Principem Feci Deum, uci tiri sacerdotsi et dignitas in eternum. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus bone voluntatis, 
Laudamus te, benedicimus te, alaudamus te, glorificamus te. Gracias a ti, nos tibi prote, madre, gloria tua. Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Onipotens, Domine Filio Ingenite, e ai sottiste. Domine Deus, Agnus Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolle il peccato mundi, misedere nobis. Qui tolle il peccato mundi, suscita e deprecazione nostra. Qui sede se dexeram patris, misedere nobis. Quari anno tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, con santo spirito e gloria dei patris. Amen. Rex of Hobbies, et cum spiritu tuo, ordemus. Da caesmus onnipotens Deus, ut piati remigi, confessoris tui atque pontificis venerandes onnelitas, e devozionem nobis auge ate salutem. Per Dominum nostrum, Iaesum Christum, Filium tuum, qui tecum de vita regna, tu meritati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per Romia secula seculorum. Amen. Amen. Lexo Divri Sapientia. Ece sa scelgos magnus, quindi egus suis placui Deo, de inventus est justus, et in tempore di fundi e factus est de conciliatio. Non est inventus similisidi, qui non trovavit legio mei scelsi, e Deo iure iurando feci di non dominus crescere in plebem suam. Benediccion momium gentium delitini, in testamentum sum confirmavit sum in capo Deus. Agnovit Deo in benediczioni dus suis, conservavit in misericordiam suam, et invenit in gratiam correm oculis domini. Magnificava in termini conspetto regum et dititili coronum gloriae, statui di ritestamentum eternum et dititili sacerdozio magnum, et beatificava in termini gloria. Con gli sacerdozio et vahabere laudem in nomine ipsius, et offerire in censum in dignum et autorem suavitatis. Deo, gratias. Ece sacerdos magnus, quindi egus suis placui Deo, non est inventus in risiri qui conservare Deo me scelsi. Alleluia, alleluia. Tu es sacerdos in eternum secundum ordine in Melchizedek. Alleluia. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, sequentia Sancti Evangelii secundum Meteum. Gloria a Ti, Domine. In ino tempore disit Iesus, discipuli suis parabolum han, homo perga e proficiens vocabit servus suos e fratili tilis vora sua, et unit edit quinque telentra re gli autum tua, gli vere unum, uniquique secundum proprium vetultem e profectus estatim. Habiet autum qui quinque telentra receperat, et operatus est in eis, et lucratus est alia quinque. Similiter et qui doa ceperat, lucratus est alia duo. Qui autem unum aceperat apiens fotit in terra met obstante pecuniam domini sui. Os multum vero temporis veni dominus e vorum in orum et falso idrazionem cum eis, et ecedens qui quinque talenta receperat obtulit alia quinque talenta dicens. Domine, quinque talenta tragidisti miti, ece alia quinque superocultus sum. Et diri dominus eius, Iuge serve bone et fidelis, quia suba pauca fluisti fidelis, supe multo te constitua, intro in gaudium domini tui. Acecit autem et qui duo talenta receperat et eit, Domine, duo talente tradilisti miti, ece alia duo glucratus sum, e dili dominus eius, iuge serve bone et fidelis, quia super pauca fluesti fidelis, super molte te constitua, intra in gaudium domini tui. Las tibi Christi. On this, the Feast of St. Remagius of Reims, Bishop and Confessor. The lesson is taken from the Book of Wisdom. Here was a great priest whose life was acceptable to God and proved ever faithful to him. When the day of retribution came, he made amends for all. Where shall we find another to keep the law of the Most High as he kept it? So it was the Lord took an oath that he should be the father of his chosen people. 
The Lord gave him the blessing which should extend to all nations, renewing the covenant in his person, ratified the blessings he uttered, and singled him out for favour, such grace he found in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord made him great in the sight of kings, and crowned him with glory. He made a covenant with him for ever, entrusting him with the great office of the priesthood, and enriching him with high honour. He was to serve the Lord as his priest, privileged to act in his name, and to offer incense to him acceptable in its fragrance. And the Holy Gospel is the continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At this time Jesus told this parable to his disciples. A man who was going on his travels called his trusted servants to him and committed his money to their charge. He gave five talents to one, two to another, and one to another, according to their several abilities, and with that he set out on his journey. The man who had received five talents went and traded with them until he had made a profit of five talents more, and in the same way he who had received two made a profit of two, whereas he who had received but one went off and made a hole in the ground and there hid his master's money. Long afterwards the master of those servants came back and entered into a reckoning with them, and so the man who had received five talents came forward and brought five talents more. Lord, he said, it was five talents thou gavest me, see how I have made a profit of five talents besides. And his master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since thou hast been faithful over little things, I have great things to commit to thy charge. Come and share the joy of thy Lord. Then came the man who had received the two talents. Lord, he said, It was two talents thou gavest me. See how I have made a profit of two talents besides. And his master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since thou hast been faithful over little things, I have great things to commit to thy charge. Come and share the joy of thy Lord. Hail Mary, from grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray Amen. for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast. Mass getting darker by the moment. I think it must be the, the rain clouds, the storm clouds outside. Our gathering, but on this feast of Saint Remigius, uh, sometimes known as Saint Remy, uh, he was uh, born at uh, Laon in uh, 440 uh, AD, born uh, to the count uh, of that place, and uh, thus was a high ranking Gallo Romano, that means uh, of the uh, patrician class, or what we might say the, the, the leftovers of the, of the patrician class. Uh, from the Roman occupation of Gaul. Uh, at this time, uh, France, uh, as it would be for many centuries, uh, was sort of divided in the uh, sort of mid to the south uh, were the Gallo Romanos, uh, the, the remnants of the Roman Empire, and to the north, the Franks. And uh, it was the healing, as it were, uh, or the, certainly some appeasement uh, with the Franks that. Um, Remy, Remy was to become uh, famous for. He was noted for his learning and for his piety uh, from an early age, such that when the See of Reims became vacant uh, at, at the uncanonical age of uh, 22, uh, he was uh, uh, elected uh, to the See. Uh, this was uh, the uncanonical age. The canonical age for ordination as a priest was. Um, uh, usually in those days at the age of 30, uh, later now is 24, um, and uh, certainly uh, the minimum age for a bishop was about 30 and is now 35, so he was uh, noted uh, for his, his young wisdom and piety, uh, recognised at a very early age. He would then be a bishop for 70 years, during which time uh, he would achieve indeed great things. Uh, for the country. Indeed, he ushered in uh, uh, a time of uh, peace. Uh, when I was uh, in France uh, this past summer, quite different weather conditions to those today, uh, I had a chance to visit uh, a wonderful uh, spectacle, it has to be said, um, and I, the name of the place has uh, totally escaped me, um, but there was a, a sort of display uh, there of uh, the conversion of Clovis and a wonderful uh, uh, depiction of the baptism uh, of Clovis, uh, King of the Franks, by uh, Remigius. 
accounts of his life, of course, okay, contain much that is uh, legendary. Uh, hear what the martyrology reads. He wielded the bishop's crozier for an unusually great number of years before he departed from this life, highly esteemed for his holiness and for amazing miracles. The day of his death is January the 13th. Today is the anniversary of the transfer of his remains to a specially constructed crypt in the Church of St. Christopher. He was a great missionary and shepherd of souls. He is honoured as the Apostle of the Franks, the forefathers of, contemporary, uh, of the contemporary French. In every century, the Church of France has contributed significantly to the progress of religion and produced numerous illustrious saints. Uh, here are some words of Remigius that he was uh, reported to have spoken when he baptised King Clovis. Humble yourself, Scambian, adore that which you formerly burned, and burn that which you formerly adored. This is the year 496 AD. He died in the year 533, 534. Of the numerous miracles attributed to him, one is that he brought back to, back to, back to life. He resurrected uh, a, a young girl. And at least four of his letters uh, still exist uh, to this day, demonstrating uh, his wisdom. One of the later miracles attributed uh, to Saint Saint Remy is the uh, Saint Apul, uh, which is the holy oil uh, traditionally used to uh, consecrate the kings uh, of France. Uh, tradition says that uh, for a necessity of the consecration of a new bishop, uh, there was no holy oil. Uh, Saint Remy placed two vials on the altar and pleaded with heaven and they were miraculously filled with a scented uh, unguent. Uh, now, they were then used, sorry, for the baptism. Do you beg your pardon? For the baptism of Clovis, uh, the necessary oils of catechumen and chrism uh, were not immediately available. Thus, St. Remy uh, put two vials on the altar uh, and pleaded with heaven uh, for them to be filled, which they were. Several centuries after uh, his death, uh, during excavations, two vials were found uh, uh, containing uh, a beautifully uh, scented um, uh, unguent, uh, which they attributed to being the two vials of chrism and catechumen of the miracle attributed to Saint Rémy. Now, uh, these were found 400 years after St. Remy's, Remy's death. Uh, at St. Remy's time, uh, certainly the knowledge of uh, perfumery uh, and oils was known, but 400 years later that knowledge had been lost, uh, so that uh, the discovery of these vials and their scent uh, was, uh, could really, was considered really quite something. Um, so it was uh, that uh, those two oils then became the basis for which the oils used to anoint the kings of France and the queens of France uh, afterwards. Uh, the, uh, according to the ancient ordinals of the, of the coronation rites uh, in France, uh, chrism is used to uh, anoint the king uh, and uh, catechumen uh, or used to uh, uh, coronate the queen, to anoint the queens. Indeed, the House of Bourbon, uh, to this day, uh, claims to have uh, the saint uh, the, the saint uh, claims to have still this uh, holy oil, uh, but uh, it is uh, probably uh, the catechumenate oil rather than the oil of chrism. What then, my brothers and sisters, are we to make of St. Amy's life for us? Remembering that Holy Mother Church brings the example of the saints to us, from history to give us encouragement in our own time. Well, we should, my brothers and sisters, I think, pray that 
uh, more shepherds, more pastors, more bishops like Saint Remy uh, might be found, might be called, might be brought forth uh, by God to lead the church in the present age. It uh, astonishes me day by day uh, the increase in the level of the great apostasy that is overtaking the, the universal church. Uh, the Amazonian Synod that is coming uh, up uh, at the end of this week uh, foretends uh, a great upheaval uh, for the uh, contemporary Roman communion. Indeed, if much of what is suggested uh, to be uh, discussed at that Synod uh, is enacted, uh, I think a schism uh, in the Roman Communion is inevitable. What's shocking, of course, is that Pope Francis even has alluded to this himself, indeed has even spoken the word schism publicly, uh, which is not something that Roman pontiffs tend to do, uh, and has said that he doesn't care, he doesn't mind if a schism comes about. It has to be said, my brothers and sisters, that Francis represents something that is more than just a a uh, divergence uh, from, uh, from tradition, uh, but he's gradually exposing himself as representing something wholly other than even the Christian faith. Rather, it seems that uh, this difference between uh, the Christian faith and uh, Christian socialism uh, is manifesting itself ever more boldly and obviously as the days go by. What do I mean by that? I mean the Christian faith, the Orthodox Catholic faith, the Apostolic faith that we have received uh, from Christ through the Apostles, that faith which, for example, uh, has been believed for 2,000 years, that gives us uh, the uh, warranty of Scripture, that gives us the uh, um, assured, uh, surety of uh, tradition, sacred tradition, from which our uh, fundamental core uh, dogmas and beliefs comes, uh, that, my brothers and sisters, which ought to be uh, guarded, protected by the shepherds, by the apostles, and certainly by the successors of the apostles, of which the uh, successor at Rome uh, was uh, deemed to be the first uh, we can say, as old Romans, of course, that in the last 200 years uh, they have been failing in that office, but none so more, none such, uh, none so or none so much as the contemporary uh, holder of that office. Christian socialism, my brothers and sisters, is uh, the reduction of the Christian faith to an ideology, a social ideology. It, uh, of course, has uh, connotations of Marxism and socialism, of communism, uh, and of liberation, so-called theology. Uh, thus, uh, it focuses more, we might say, on the uh, second uh, of the uh, commandments in the, the summary of the law, uh, the love of neighbour, and completely ignores uh, love of God. Indeed, um, it's so focused is it on uh, humanity, we might call it indeed a form of uh, um, Christian humanism, uh, so focused and preoccupied is it uh, with the human aspect uh, of neighbourliness uh, that uh, it is gradually uh, beginning to undermine uh, uh, any uh, true sense of religion uh, concerning uh, belief in the divine. Uh, this has been an infection in the church, in the Church of Rome, that I say has been growing for some 200 years. Ironically, the reactionary, uh, the reactionism of Pius IX proclaimed dogma of his own authority. Uh, he rather let the cat out of the bag. Pius X, similarly, when he tried to reform the liturgy uh, in uh, the early 1900s. Uh, again, let the cat out of the bag. The, that was the, the stirring, the beginning of what became known as the liturgical movement that gradually, of course, had its, reached its zenith uh, post-Vatican II in 1969 in the promulgation by Paul VI of a new missal, the Novus Ordo, undoing at least 1,500 years of tradition uh, concerning the liturgy. 
and what we say of the liturgy, but how we pray is how we believe. And so it's altering the structure of the liturgy, altering uh, the content of the liturgy, altered the faith. And that, of course, has since uh, continued. Uh, so that, uh, for example, we, we, we can, you can see its effects uh, simply numerically in the number of Catholics, but uh, compared to uh, before Vatican II, the number of religious brothers and sisters, the number of priests uh, considerably uh, lessened uh, the number of vocations uh, since this new uh, liturgy came in. Bearing in mind, my brothers and sisters, that the Mass that we celebrate today here uh, would have been familiar to Saint Rémy uh, in there back in the 4th and 5th centuries. The new Mass, so called of today, would not have been recognisable at all to him. And so the faith, and so people's faith has changed. Their understanding of the faith has changed. A shocking Pew survey of American Catholics earlier this year revealed that something like 70% uh, or more of them who go to Mass on Sundays don't believe in the real presence. And is it any wonder when the sacrament uh, is, uh, is so mistreated uh, by so many uh, in the new Mass without any reverence? It's rare today now that you see Catholics genuflecting when they come into church uh, before the altar. It's rare even these days to have the sacrament on the high altar. Often it has been stuck uh, on a plinth uh, to one side or in some side chapel. I could go on, but I won't go on. But um, suffice to say that we need, my brothers and sisters, bishops like uh, Remedius, we need... Uh, another Athanasius we need uh, uh, another Augustine we need another Thomas uh, Aquinas we need uh, all these greats uh, whom we venerate and recall uh, from the first millennium uh, we need such characters today we need such true believers uh, in the episcopacy today in all the churches in order to try and stem to turn uh, the tide of this great apostasy around. Is this the great apostasy foretold of the end times? Who knows? As I've said before, my brothers and sisters, we should not concern ourselves uh, with prophecies concerning the end times. Our Lord himself is very clear about it. Focus more, rather, on our salvation, on your salvation, on the salvation of others, and that true salvation through the apostolic faith and sacred tradition. That, my brothers and sisters, should be our focus. Do not waste energies on the whims and fables and fancies and fantasies of those who uh, claim the Antichrist is here or there or the Christ is coming back here or there, or etc., etc. As our Lord says, ignore all that rubbish. You will know when we have reached the end of time. Pray rather, my brothers and sisters, for your salvation and the salvation of others. And in that salvation for others, pray for vocations. Pray for true vocations to the sacred ministry. Pray for a stirring of courage uh, amongst the pastors of the church. That indeed, uh, great saints uh, of the like, uh, like St. Remedius and others, may be seen and come to the fore in our present day. And again, as I bid you yesterday, my brothers and sisters, pray for me. Uh, as I strive to fulfil uh, my role and office as both a pastor and as an apostle to the church today. Pray that I may find uh, the strength, but also, too, uh, the opportunities uh, to speak up uh, for the true religion, uh, which is the Catholic faith, rather than this false Christian sociology and ideology, this Christianism uh, that is uh, being... Uh, promoted today. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.
in Domino Sobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo. Ordemus. In venita vecevo me amoreus sancto me unsiego, malus enio meam saliabitore, et brachium meam facultabite. secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus oviscum, et cum spirito tuo, sosum corda, habemus et dominum, gracias agamus domino Deo nostro. Dignum et justum est, vere dignum et justum est, come salutari nos dipi sempre et ubique, gracias angele domine sante pate, onnipotenza et tene Deus. Per Christum Domino nostrum, pregum e statum tuum laudo d'angeli adorando orazioni stremus potestates, cei cei arrunque vetute te beate serofim, solcis mutazione conceribant, con cui vos a nostris voces us imiti ubes te preparmo, suffici confessione di cei. Salvus, 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 
Dog on stay in Sabbath, play some shady at Hanna Gloria Tua, Hosanna in a chassis. Benedictus qui benedit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in a chassis. Spokoj da ga dorkniš. Erram ia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde, sporreccia di salutare cus moleti de venes funzione formati, ademus dice. Ad adost eriquei sin celi, sanctificetum non tum, e meni ad rei un tum che volontas tua, sicut in celo e in terra. Ale nostrum quadrante nomis odie, e limitre nomis debita e nostro sigla nos imitimus debitoricus nostis, e denus in lucas in denazione. Amen. Sedi per la nostra mano, Amen. 
Ami a secula seculorum. Amen. Rasa Domini sit semper vobis. Et cum spiritu tuo. Ece agnus Dei, ece qui tolit peccato mundi. Domine non sum dignus, ut intre su pecum meu, sed rendum dei verbo e sen avitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut intre su pecum meu, sed rendum dei verbo e sen avitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut intre su pecum meu, sed rendum dei verbo e sen avitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament. We invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
Fidelis servus et prudens, quem consitui Dominus supra familiam sua, ut et inis in tempore et litigim et sua. Dominus obiscum, eco spirito tu, orde, Presa caesus anipotens Deus, ut e percepsis muneribus gratias et serventes intercedente beator rameci e confessore tuo, acque pontifice e benefice potsiore sumamus, per l'omino nostro mi esum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivo da regni ad umanitati suritus sancti deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, ite misa est, Deo gratias. Et nomen nomen e benedictum, et son nunca dusque in secula, abrut nomen nostrum, in nomen e domini, qui fece celum et terra, benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus. Pater, et filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, initium Sancti Evangelii, secundum Giovannem, Gloria a Ti, Domine, in principio, ore bebum, e bebum, ere capo Deum, e Deus, ere bebum, hoc erat in principio, a Tu Deum, omni Christum factus, omni Simpson factum, e Deus, o factum est. In ipsum vita erat, in vita erat, lus habim, lus in tenebris, luce le tenebre, e non comprehendevum, Cui tu come sussi del cuore per l'ora ci vanno, si vede che testi muori, un testi muori per vero, tu lumine, tu non esperi, non fai l'um. Non è l'etere l'um, se non testi muori per vero, tu lumine, e l'ex verco, l'umine, ad omnem, omnem, veniente, me non condum. E mondo erato, mondo sulepso, un quarto sesto, mondo sul nocchio mio, vite, mi rovi, vedi che sono non ci perdono. Quarto ora, te non ci perdono, 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 te non In habitabit in nobis in pedibus gloria, meus gloria, quasi vigente e patria, quando grazia e veritatis. Deo gratias. And then if the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are all among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. How many for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. How many for grace the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we set up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O lovely, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, with any mercy, thy people who cry to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter, Paul, and of all thy saints. In mercy, would you hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners, for the, for the liberty and exaltation of our holy mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend, defend us in the day of battle. Be yes, our safeguard God against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince, Prince of the heavenly host, by, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, saved from all wicked spirits, who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. May St. Remedius of Rheims pray for us, and Catherine of Steny pray for us, and Wilfred of York pray for us, St. Richard of Chichester pray for us, and Owen of Alfreston Pray for us, Our Lady of Walsingham. Pray for us, Our Holy Guardian Angels. Pray for us, Our Heavenly Patron Saints. Pray for us, Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints. Pray for us.